Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Buck Parker. I am a board certified general surgeon and in this video we're going to talk about hiatal hernia or hiatus hernia or hernia of the hiatus or however you want to call it. But anyway, uh, we're going to talk about hiatal hernias and if you want to know what a hernia is exactly, check out my other videos. I have a definition of hernia video as well. Basically what the hiatus hernia or hiatal hernia is, is a dilation of the hole in the diaphragm. And so the diaphragm is a big kind of like tent muscle uh, that separates the chest and the abdomen. And when the diaphragm, uh, it's usually kind of a dome shaped structure. And when you breathe in, it flattens out, it expands the chest, it lets you bring in um, air into your lungs. But uh, there are a couple structures that need to pass through the diaphragm to get from the chest to the abdomen. One of them is the uh, abdominal aorta and another one is the esophagus. And the esophagus is the one we're going to talk about uh, when we're talking about hiatal hernias. So there is a, when in that dome shaped muscle, there's a hole, there's a big hole in it and the esophagus passes right through that. So obviously when you eat something, put something in your mouth, uh, you swallow it, goes from your mouth to your esophagus, down the esophagus esophagus and then into the stomach. Now just before the esophagus hits the stomach is where it passes through the uh, diaphragm and then in the diaphragm there's a little hole and usually that's a tight, nice little tight hole and it doesn't let a lot of stuff from the abdomen go up into the chest. Well in a hiatal hernia that hole dilates up and it gets really big and it can allow things from the abdomen to go up into the chest. And so in a typical uh, hiatal hernia, about 95% of them, the stomach uh, sort of slides up into the chest just a little bit, maybe a couple centimeters. And what that what happens then is you have uh, reflux symptoms and this is why hiatal hernias are so important and we talk about them a lot because uh, people end up having reflux, which reflux is this burning sensation uh, kind of below your breastbone when you you know have a lot of food or hot spicy food or something like that and you have basically acid reflux so acid in the stomach uh, goes back up into the esophagus because that hole is not tight anymore and it can't really uh, hold that food and the acid in the stomach it doesn't hold it down so it allows it to come back up into the esophagus and the stomach has a different lining than the esophagus the stomach is prepared for the acid and it doesn't burn the stomach but the esophagus is a completely different lining the acid from the stomach goes up into the esophagus, then the esophagus burns and you feel that burning sensation. So now let's talk about the types of hiatal hernias and there are four types of hiatal hernias. So the first type is called a sliding hiatal hernia is where the stomach, the actually the junction of the esophagus and the stomach, that junction we call the GE junction or gastroesophageal junction, slides up a little bit past where that hole is in the diaphragm. The hole is actually called the hiatus. So where that slides up a little bit and that allows that reflux to happen and you get the, those symptoms. Type two is actually called parasophageal. The other ones are called parasophageal hernias or next to, para is like kind of around. So the, the kind of the of the abdomen slide up around the esophagus and into the chest. So in this picture here we can see that the stomach actually slides up into the chest next to the esophagus. The GE junction in type 2 does not go into the chest. The GE junction, the gastroesophageal junction, stays in the abdomen. Okay, that's a type 2 and that's a very uh, common one as well. A type 3 is when the stomach, the GE junction, first of all, slides up into the chest, but also a portion of the stomach, not just the portion of the, the stomach that is attached to the esophagus, but also the what we call the cardia or the fundus of the stomach slides up around or next to the esophagus through the hiatus. And the fourth type is a parasophageal hernia as well, but this is when other organs than the stomach slide up into the chest, such as the colon or the small bowel or the spleen or something like that. And I have actually seen a few of these that the, the entire stomach is flipped up into the chest and it's actually upside down and I don't even know how these people get any food down because they were walking around this with this for a long time. Um, 
Um, I've also taken care of a patient just last year where they had the, the uh, portion of the colon up into the chest and it became obstructed. Now hernias typically, if you've seen anything about other hernias, one of the dangerous things about hernias is if you get an organ, especially the small bowel or the colon, stuck in a hernia and it cuts its own blood supply off, that, that organ can die, such as the small bowel or, or the colon. This actually, this colon had flipped up into the chest uh, through this hole, but the hole wasn't tight enough, or the, but the hole wasn't big enough for the colon to come back down uh, on its own and it got stuck up there and it actually died and the guy got very sick. Uh, we took care of him actually, we took that portion of the colon out and he, uh, he ended up actually being okay. So uh, that is the kind of quick and dirty on the hiatal hernias. I hope that clears some questions up for you. If you like these videos, awesome, uh, subscribe to my channel. Like the video if you like this one and maybe share it with a friend, that'd be awesome too. And I will see you the next one. Take care.